I've been here 33 and a half years. I uh, actually did work in this same area when I was a graduate student at RPI, and it involves work looking at the very, very slow growth of cracks and metals related to energy systems. That is, even in very pure water, even with materials that we call stainless steel, because they are, they still will allow cracks to grow at rates that will breach the pressure boundaries mm -hmm. of uh, turbines and fossil and nuclear plants. When you're looking these days for lifetimes that might be 40 or 80 or 100 years, you're looking at cracks that are growing at very, very small rates. Say, the thickness of a hair every few months or a year. So what we do here is track inside high pressure water at high temperature, the development of cracks and controlled specimen geometries. But we can see these kind of very, very low rates which means we can test in exactly typical conditions that the materials see in play. The safety consequences, as well as the economic consequences, are huge. And, you know, it's, it's unusual for someone to work on something for the better part of 40 years of his life. And it's those economic and safety consequences that drive that. I grew up in uh, Berkeley, Oakland, California. My father's first job was building Liberty ships for Kaiser engineers during the war. And so we always were exposed to interesting and complex projects that my father did. One of my uh, nicknames to the neighborhood was Hey But, because people would get partway through an explanation and I either understood the answer or it wasn't something I was interested in and it was Hey But, you know, how about this or how about that? The National Academy of Engineering in the U.S. is certainly the most prestigious award that an engineer or scientist can get. And uh, I was frankly very surprised and very honored that I'm considered worthy of that recognition. This kind of honor would never come without the opportunity that uh, the GE Research Center has provided over my career. And of course, it's not just my career, but my colleagues throughout our group and throughout the GE businesses and even international colleagues that I interact with that really get, you know, probably more than the majority of the credit for this. And I thank them.